Space Ghost, famed 1960s superhero. After a long stint of unemployment, he made a glorious comeback hosting his own talk show. Enter the League of Enchantment. This charity group has given him a microphone, a camera, and another chance at interviewing big name celebrities. Welcome to Space Ghost, live interviews from Earth. Welcome to Space Ghost. So, uh, well, enough to do that. That's about it. Oh, uh, so we're at Monroe Comic Con here with Michael Foster. Michael, you've been on a few shows in your life. Uh, can you can you give us a kind of a brief breakdown of where you've been and what you've done? What have I done? Well, my I mean, other than stand here and you know <laughs> and let my hair flop let, around let in the your wind, hair huh? grow yeah. a little bit every day. <laughs> so I started off. My first co-star was on uh, Beverly Hills 90210. Ooh. That was the first show that I was on, and then after that, I started doing a lot of work on uh, Disney and Nickelodeon. Hmm. I did a show called Kicking It. Had a few episodes on that. Then there was Gamer's Guide to pretty much everything. The Thundermans. Um, so it's been uh, Henry Danger. Henry Danger. So yeah, there so, go. so I got to I got to do some pretty. That's fun a crazy stuff. reference right there. I mean, that's right? that's kind of out there. Well, you ready for this one? They filmed it at the same studio where they did Saved by the Bell. So wow. I had a little bit of nostalgia going back on that. I'm sure. Yeah. Standing there, just absorbing it. I was. I was looking for Screech, you know? Oh, yeah. Just wandering through the door or mopping the floor somewhere or something. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Like, Belding was here. That's what he's been doing since you've been gone. Just just clean up. <laughs> Actually, just... I think that's what Dustin Diamond has been It's doing. probably true, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. We're live from planet Earth with Space Ghost. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. I am Space Ghost. I, I have my own microphone. You do. You, yeah, do. you don't okay. even need to do all that. Right, it all just right. makes it confusing. When I have two this microphones, they yeah. hear me twice as loud, and you don't, not at all. Okay, I don't want you to be selfish with the yeah. microphones. Okay. We're here with uh, Kaylin Smith, uh, most well known not only for being a Smith, which they're like a million of, but also for being a fantastic artist and also having to deal with writers who are horribly annoying, as we've heard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if the interview, <laughs> interview is like going to be long enough for all that Well, I mean, we can just touch on the topic of writers are horrible yes. to deal with. Okay, And yeah. then you're pretty much covered. Yeah. Done. That's it. Dude. How's it being back in your old hometown? This is truly one of my favorite things to do, and I mean that. And I'm not just saying it because I'm here. I'm somebody that loves my state of Michigan. I love my hometown here in Monroe. And tell me it isn't a dream to leave here go to California, and then get to come back to a Comic-Con and see all the people that... You get to be a guest. I get to be a guest. You get to be you get to be a guest in your own hometown, which has got to be kind of like a, like a Twilight Zone moment. It really is. It's kind of surreal, you know, especially when I see people that I've known my whole life coming up to me saying, can we get a picture with you? And I'm right. like, like <laughs> of um, course. Don't you have a picture of me in, like, kindergarten? Like, it's, like... It's my, so I, I used to be a high school teacher. And I've I, heard that rumor. Yeah, it's a true story. Yeah. I had one of my students come up and say, can I get your autograph? And I'm like, you know, I used to autograph stuff for you all the time. Yeah, it was wait, called wait, your just look in your papers. Yeah. C minus, Mr. Yeah. Foster. You know? <laughs> That's right. You've been quoted as saying, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. Yeah. What kind of bear am I? You're more of like, um, I'm seeing you more of sort of like a, a, a black bear. A black bear? A black, a black bear. bear. Friendly. A friendly uh, black fr bear. Friendly. So kind um, of a panda bear, then. Kind of a panda bear. Mark, not exactly not dangerous. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're not a polar bear. Not a koala. Not a koala. Not a, it's okay. Not that I, cuddly. I can be that cute and cuddly. Yeah. Polar bear. Yeah, like, like I don't mind if you're around, but you know what? I'm going to respect you because there okay. could be danger, yes, you know? True. There could well, be danger. I mean, I do have the, the rays, so, I mean, just, you know, <laughs> you got to be careful with that. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. You're going to be live. Here, okay. you get a microphone, Thank so you, you look professional. Right. You got to look at the camera, though. Got you know, this. Look at the birdie. Look at the birdie. Got look at the this. birdie. Okay. Hi there. We're live with Space Ghost. We're asking some random citizens on the streets their opinions mm -hmm. on which Chris is the best Chris. Which Chris is the best Chris? Yes. Do you have a favorite Chris? Possibly uh, Pine or uh, Hemsworth. Or oh, Chris that's really Evans, hard to choose or, from. Yeah. There's so many Chris's anymore. There's a lot of Chris's. Mostly crammed into one movie series. It's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah, I'm going to go with I, Evans. Chris Evans? Chris the, Evans. Okay, the, the, the Boy Scout uh, soldier boy. Yes, Is but mostly a... that scene where he's holding the helicopter. Okay, yes. the, the arms out yelling scene. Yes, yes, one of my male friends audibly gasped when he did that. Okay. Yes. Do you, have you, have you like, practiced that scene yourself at home? Once or twice. Stand there, hold just one door, twice. one door, and just yell. Yes. Just Pretending you're holding onto a helicopter. Yes. So, uh, being that your wife likes Chris Evans because he can hold the helicopter. Oh yeah. Away from falling, 
Um, and she said she uses that at home to get you motivated by standing there holding door frames and yelling. Oh, she does do that. She does yell? Yeah. Okay. So when she yells louder, does that motivate you more? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mostly out of fear. Good Mostly out of fear. She does Lester. seem scary. We Terrifying. are now. Does it feel different doing kids' programs now? You know, what's, what's crazy is is the thing about kids' programs <laughs> that is the, the, the most different uh, than, than doing actual, you know, horror movies right. or shows like that is usually crafty. Like, you'll go to some of these, um, the, the kids' shows that I've done, and there's, you know, cookies and ice cream and cakes and all this kind of stuff. And you're around, you know, more adult shows. That's where it's like everybody's, like, you know, green vegetables and, and this sort of stuff. So it's so, like you so really can see a, you really can see a difference in the food. Like, oh, all yeah. the Nickelodeon shows, it's just like, oh, it's like Halloween. This is great. So just a table of candy and Table sweets. of candy, yeah. yeah. I went to a filming one time. I wasn't on it, but I went to a filming of that uh, Netflix show, The Ranch. Okay. And I went there, and that's kind of like, you know, they're all ranchers. And they really on set had beer and whiskey and this stuff. It was So they lived the lifestyle of what they're showing. I couldn't believe it. That's, that's, that's <laughs> it was like, crazy. You know, Ashton Kutcher's sitting there drinking a beer, and I'm like, it's really happening, you know? Well, you got to see Ashton Kutcher drink a beer, too. Yeah, he offered me one. Well, there you go. There, yeah. You chuck that off the list. Move on. <laughs> Bucket list. Ashton That's Kutcher right. offered me a beer. Right. I mean, it's a weird line to put on there, but I mean, up until today, I had interview with a romance novel cover, so I've covered that now. <laughs> I mean, you just you just check it off, and you know it's gone. Well, as long as we're yeah. doing that, be sure to read Lily Baldwin. There we go. See, <laughs> if I was on a romance cover novel with you, what pose would we do? Well, I think that uh, no matter what, it's because of the hair that I have to play the hero. So you would have to be the either villain. the femme fatale yeah, or the you I know, know. I mean, I, I, could I, I could defend you, defend your honor. I could do that, couldn't I? Yes, I've done that before. <laughs> I think they're taking pictures of us lampooning ourselves. <laughs> it's happening. It does. It happens quite often. It's a strange aspect of life. That's, it happens in my life all the time. Twilight Zone moment. Twi we just stepped through the door again. Oh, we it's did. Just, it's like a revolving door. Eventually, we're going to step out, fall off a ledge, and it'll be over. No more Twilight Zone moments. Positivity from the ghost. That's right. <laughs> Well, it's been nice having you on the show. It's been fun being on the show. I've really enjoyed it. I think you have a host of fans waiting to see you. Thank you, Michael. Really <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Are we starting? For more just, awkward celebrity interviews, around. hit the subscribe button. Click the link in the bio for Instagram or Facebook to learn more about the League of Enchantment. Or if you'd like to support them and the good work they do, check out their website or Patreon. Yeah, I, just, I would just jump up, ask them a question, land, jump back up.